wearing the computer glasses today because you know they uh, they make me look smarter. Actually, I, uh, truth is, is I had LASIK about two years ago. And if you've ever thought about doing it, it is one of the best investments you can make. I love waking up and having awesome eyesight. But these days, spending lots of time at the computer. So every now and then, the computer glasses help. Today, I'm going to take you through one of my latest guides. And I call it the Ultimate Startup Funding Cheat Sheet. And it's an infographic. It's a couple of pages long. And I run you through all kinds of things like the types of documents that you're going to need, the slides that you might need in a pitch deck. I even run you through a timeline of funding running, which is often I call it sometimes the capital continuum. And I want to run you through that today and share that information with you. And then at the in the comments, I'll uh, provide the ability for you to download this cheat sheet and give you the URL where you can do that. All right, so here it is, the Ultimate Startup Funding Cheat Sheet, and you'll see here I've got the icon for my startup community, which is at southfound.com. It's a website I created to feature startups and entrepreneurs from the southern United States to prove that it's a great place to start a business, but over the four years that I ran that community, it's been a lot of people from across the globe actually have sort of I sort of recognize the mission and, and feel part of that mission of improving entrepreneurship and startup exposure across the globe, actually. And uh, so that's where this cheat sheet started as a resource guide. And that's where the URL will take you. So if it confuses you when you are used to seeing my name, Jonathan Millspatrick, or my personal URL, jonathanmillspatrick.com, know that you just head to southbound.com. And that is my company that I operate under. The key to this cheat sheet is it just my goal was to give you a better understanding of how funding works, whether it's from investors or lenders and those types of things. The, but the other thing to understand is, is I couldn't provide everything I know about those topics in this cheat sheet. This is really just to get you started so that when you maybe take some of my more advanced courses or my eBooks that you will understand the basics. And so first we talk about funding that you can get through investors and how that is in exchange for shares in your company or sometimes, although not as common, you can get venture debt. That's what a convertible note is, is it's venture debt. And that's an exchange for interest paid to the lender down the road. Here's an interesting fact you may not know. 57% of venture funding comes from loans. That's been reported 57% use it for personal loans. 38% uh, get money from family and friends, and only 1.5% get money from angel investors or venture capitalists. And that echoes what I've told you all along, which is to improve your chances for getting funding from investors. There's a lot of things you have to do and you have to do correctly. The general idea is you pitch 100 investors to get one of them to agree to fund your business. So next in the guide, I want to run you through some sources of investor funding. And there's a few of them I've kind of lumped together here on the first You'll see the FF and F round that I have talked about in the past. That's family, friends, and founders. And that's money coming from yourself. You should put money into your own venture. Or maybe your family and friends, if they have discretionary income, they would like to put into your, into your deal. You can also get funding from crowdfunding, which is a popular way for a lot of people to get funding for the ideas. The most popular website for that is kickstarter.com. You can check that out. That's a place where you can post a, a project that you're trying to launch how much money you're trying to raise and you give away some things in exchange for that program. Venture capital, of course, is more sophisticated investors. It's someone who's managing investable dollars on behalf of other investors and they have a pool of money, usually millions upon millions of dollars, and they invest that in a variety of startups. One thing to note with venture capital firms is they typically have startups that they like to invest in based on industry. So maybe that fund is designed for healthcare startups or technology startups, those types of things. They'll usually focus on one, two, or a few startup categories. And that's because they're familiar with those categories and they feel like they can add the most value outside of money. And then of course you have angel investors, just individual investors who have discretionary dollars that they can invest into a startup. They usually do that because they like to support other entrepreneurs because they were one themselves or 
they're looking to diversify their portfolio and get a good return. Then there's lender funding that you can get. There's all kinds of t uh, funds out there or, or loan funds that you can get. There's your traditional lenders, right? Banks, credit unions. And if you're saying to yourself, but Jonathan, there's no way they'll ever give me a loan. That's not true. Uh, it is less likely, but there are funds out there at these institutions. I know one because I created one that got a national award. It was called the Line 12 Fund. And we funded ideation only, ideation stage only startups. So it does happen. There are alternative lenders. Another hot area for funding. These are a lot of the online companies like Cabbage and On Deck. Those folks, you can get uh, fun, funds from what's called a micro fund, so small dollar, fifty, usually fifty thousand dollars or less. And then there are grants that are out there now. When you look at grants, typically this isn't this is free money, but it's the most specific grants that I think about are the SBIR and the STTRs. I talk about those in other videos or resources. So if you are curious what those are, be sure to Google them. But essentially they're science-based grants for digging into different topics that maybe the Department of Energy is interested in learning more about or in funding uh, research in that area. So the key is to understand that investors and lenders look at things in a different way and understanding those differences will, will change the chances of you getting funding. So let's look at how investors and lenders look at things differently. On the left side, we're going to be talking about investors and on the right, we'll talk about lenders. So investors, they, they base the, you're the struggling with this a little bit. Sorry about that guys. They base their investment based on what you say you're going to do, not what you have done, not what you historically have accomplished, but investors are usually investing in your idea in you based on the things you're going to accomplish. Whereas lenders are based on what you have accomplished, right? What the company has accomplished. That's why they're asking for tax returns and those types of things. Investors seek a, a return on their investment through an exit, such as a sale or an IPO, whereas lenders get their return from you through interest payments and then principal along the way as well. Investors are likely to be involved in your business decisions, maybe not in the day-to-day -day operations of your, of your business, but they'll usually be involved maybe in your board of directors, and they'll be checking in rec with you regularly, providing you insight and ideas on how they think you should go about your business. Whereas lenders, lenders generally don't get involved. They're getting an a interest payment from you, and as long as you continue to make that and some principal reductions, they don't really care what's happening. They're not going to get involved in day-to-day -day business. Uh, Lenders on the right usually require a personal guarantee and maybe even some collateral when you're getting funding from them, whereas in most instances, investors just don't care about that. So next, the uh, ultimate startup guide or ultimate startup funding cheat sheet runs you through the types of documents that you're going to need. With investors, you're typically looking at, at least in the starting due diligence phase with them, a pitch deck that includes some financial projections and you're going to want to have detailed financial projections available. With lenders, you're typically having to produce a business plan, specifically if you're applying for a small business administration loan, and you'll still need to have those same kind of financial projections, bank statements, and those kinds of things. So I'm moving through this kind of quick. Be sure you download the guide if you want to be able to read all this text uh, and the exact details that's on here. Again, it's free for you at the URL in the description. <clears throat> So next, I'm running through uh, the 10 slides in an investor pitch deck. I've done videos on that recently, so you may just want to look a few back, but this has uh, that information reiterated as well for you. The best one being the ask. You got to tell them what you need, what your plan budget is, what you're going to use the money for, and what you're, what you're willing to give up in exchange. This slide's really important because it's, I call it riding the raise, or in some instances, I also call it the capital continuum. This runs you through the flow of funding at various stages of startups. And you'll notice the, this color circle is based on anticipated results. And then you'll see later on it changes to where you're being gauged based on things you have done. So family and friends, pitch competitions, accelerators, seed rounds from angel investors, C plus, uh, series A, series B, series C. You notice I start to talk about where grants might fall into that, where traditional fall, lenders fall into it as well. And then I give you a couple of questions to think about to help you figure out which of these sources is right for you, because it's not the same answer for everyone. Not every deal is the same. And so these are the type of things that I want you to be thinking about when you decide if investors or lenders are right for you. If you're revenue positive, then a loan may be your best option. If you're not, then most likely you're going to want to go with investors. 
Do you have a unique idea? Investors work really well when you do. Do you have control issues? Are you not wanting to give up some control of your business? If that's true, then investors could be, could be a bad idea for you. Are you willing to sign a personal guarantee? If so, a loan's a good option. And do you have connections to investors? You know, it, lenders are, it's pretty easy to tell them you want to apply for a loan. Finding investors is, uh, is, is not always easy. So guys, I went through that pretty quick for you, but that is my ultimate startup funding cheat sheet. Again, I'm going to put a link to be able to download it for free on my Southbound Startup Community website uh, in the description. I hope that information helps you. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions that you would like to see answered in any of my resources that I provide. I'll be happy to plan on doing that. Appreciate you. Have a great day.